it's his uh, constitutional right to do so. But I always say the moment if you go to court on technical points, you want, want to avoid the argument about the merit of the case. In my mind, there's no doubt that the president has to answer to certain matters. He himself admitted, yes, there's an amount. What the amount is, is actually irrelevant. He admitted it was at, stolen at his farm at Fala Fala. And then it's just normal. The ordinary citizens and everybody wants to know, well, firstly, how did this foreign currency came into the country at that amount, that which he mentioned, $580,000, uh, were certain regulations complied with, uh, was tax paid on that amount, why was it stuck in furniture? It's common sense questions the people of South Africa is asking. So to go through a technical a whole court case to say, well, let's see if I have to answer or not, I think that that is the wrong decision from the president. There are very many loopholes, as I shall indicate when we go into the debate. Uh, there are very many uh, mistakes there, many, many problems where I must say, amongst others, the panel indicates that they do not have uh, all the information. They indicate again that the information that they got was uh, written by uh, people who are uh, not the complainants or members in this instance. They indicate, amongst others again, that they never had any oral uh, uh, information and a whole lot of other uh, things. Now, on the basis of that, uh, I must say that there are very serious problems and we want people that have uh, you know, expertise, the people that uh, will be agreed to by the uh, parliament once again, or the institution that shall be agreed to, so that that can be uh, dealt with. Now, the issue about the you know, motion of no confidence, about the, uh, you know, all these kind of things, uh, we are saying that those are things that must be uh, uh, put aside so that until such time Parliament will have gone through uh, their proper processes and all both legal and ethical uh, um, areas that we have agreed upon here at Parliament shall have been looked into.